Well, good day, good day, everyone, and welcome back to 2021 Networking in Nature. We've just had our first walk around the gardens for the year, and that was led this morning by none other than Alan Reva, our longtime friend and member of Networking in Nature. Um, and we thought we would just catch Alan before we disperse and get on with our days and have a quick recap of this morning's session, which um, following the theme of Alan's new book here, Creating Peace in Uncertain Times, which he's developed with Lifeline on the Northern Beaches, um, we cracked open a conversation exactly about that. How do you create more peace, more presence in your life to a point where your cup can overflow and create great positive impacts on those around you who might be struggling with, with doing exactly that in these times. So Alan Reva, thank you so much firstly. Thanks Alan, it's always a pleasure to come to this incredible place in the Botanical Gardens and, and meet such beautiful people. And I think everyone just enjoyed firstly catching up because it's been a while and there are a lot of newcomers this morning, but to your talk and your message this morning, it seemed like it really resonated and was a timely reminder for a lot of people. So I was just wondering if you want to recap um, how you did break down the idea of presence and peace and the different aspects that we talked through this morning. Yeah, sure, I can do it in a couple of minutes or even shorter. I, mean, I think one of the things that we're going through right now is we're going through some of the most challenging and uncertain times that most of us experienced in our life. And as a result, the external environment is always moving and shifting and changing around us. And so we can either choose to get caught up in that and that can create stress and worry and anxiety and our mind gets busy and magnifies what's going on outside of us. Or we can just do the simple things that help us come back into this moment. Because when we're present, we're in this, it's the optimum state where we're most connected with ourselves, we're most connected with the people that we love most, and we create really beautiful, deep relationships that we can share with others. And that can help us again diffuse and dissolve some of the stresses and the worries that are around us. And then we also touched on how powerful presence is in the workplace. When we're present in the workplace, we're our most potent state because we're absolutely there with the task that we're doing, not caught in a previous conversation or a future meeting or whatever else it might be. So one of the things we touched on was how presence is the most powerful state that we can choose to be in in those three streams of our life, in work, in relationship, and in creating a life that is just more peaceful and joyful. And it can take time. It's a long practice, yeah. and it's kind of drop by drop. And there's one other, talking about practices, one other area I thought you might want to just quickly touch on, and that's this concept of micro-practices that you have often talked about with groups and help people reflect on, but I think this book actually goes into quite a bit more detail on that. So did you want to introduce yeah. that concept as well? Yeah, sure. So these little micro moments of presence, they're really accessible for us because they, they, they can take two to three minutes. And so people who I work with, speak to, whether it's CEOs or, or sports people or interns on their first day, I don't know anyone who can argue that they don't have, let's just say five times three minutes a day, 15 minutes to do something that helps you find your optimal state. And so that's where the micro moments start is, is just realizing it's two to three minutes. If it's longer, that's great. You start with two to three minutes and you book them into your day. So you put them in the calendar and if you can start and end the day, it's great. And if you start the day, that helps set our state and flow through the day. Also try and put them in before any stressful meetings or moments that you might have coming up throughout the day. So two to three minutes, you book them in and then you do a couple of really simple things. First thing is to leave all your distractions, digital distractions, watch, phone, leave them at your desk or, or wherever you are, and then just get out into nature. Now we're so lucky here in the Botanical Gardens to have this beautiful park here, but it might also just be getting out into the street and looking at the sky, seeing the clouds pass, feeling the wind on your cheek, whatever it might be, but doing that not with your phones on you, and then just walking really, really not with a destination in mind, it may only be for 50 meters to go. Small gap between meters and three But just start to really walk slowly and feel the air around you, feel your feet touching the ground. And that alone helps just to 
de-stress your mind, help it relax. It's like a muscle, you know, like if you're training it as an athlete, then rest is really important. And it's the same thing for our mind, is if we can create these little moments in the day, two or three moments, two or three minutes, then it helps our mind just to de-stress, relax, and recover, so that we, when we go back to it, it's actually in a more optimal state for us to find solutions, we can listen better, we can learn better, all these things that the state of presence helps on us to do. I love it, Al. And uh, I love how it's just so practical and it's about integrating it into the everyday. Like you say, it's not, it's not about trying to levitate up the top of the Himalayas somewhere, or, but it's actually all about incorporating these moments and as you call them, these drops of, of joy and these drops of, of presence back into your life that allow you to be more potent um, in your relationships, in your work uh, and in, in your life. And so, again, I'd just like to give a shout out to this wonderful book and the great work that Lifeline does and I know you've been working a lot with them the last 12 months in particular. Um, so we're going to put a link in here. There's the ebook available online um, and you can also order physical copies and I think one of the great things is that Alan has mentioned is the idea of gifting this to people who you think could really benefit with just some real simple simple ways to, to build more peace uh, in these times. But Al, thank you so much again and no doubt we'll have you back again soon. It's always a pleasure to meet you. Catch you soon, brother. Thank you.